Welcome back to Pop Around Channel. Today, we're just casually driving past the Stonehenge heading to Wiltshire County in the southwest of England for our weekend stroll at Starhead House. Starhead is an estate on 2,650 acre originally owned by Starton family who had lived here for 500 years until sold to Sir Thomas Mears in 1740. Unfortunately, due to pandemic and social distancing rules, we're not allowed to look into the house yet, but today we're going to explore this world-famous landscape garden, and I can guarantee you won't be disappointed. Every now and again, as we walk along the pathway, the picturesque views of the lake and the Temple of Apollo keeps appearing as if we're looking into a painting. A large number of different trees and shrubs in different shapes and colors from around the world were deliberately planted here to evoke different moods along the path. This lake was also part of the design. The lake was artificially created in the center of the setting. The man behind this grand design was Henry Hoare II, one of the previous owners of this estate before the Hoare family passed his property on to National Trust. The designs were inspired by Claude Lorraine, Nicolas Poussin, and in particular, Gaspard Duguay, who painted utopian type views of Italian landscape. around the lake is meant to evoke a journey similar to that of Aeneas's descent into the underworld. Aeneas 
Aeneas was the Trojan hero in Greco-Roman mythology, which appeared in the Aeneas at Deleuze painting by Claude Lorraine that Henry had in his art collection. What do you think about our experience today at Starhead House? We had a very, very amazing two-mile walk from the reception, around the lake and back, and we loved it. What about you? What do you think about our weekend stroll at Starhead Garden? If you like my video, please hit like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Bye now!